So every Monday night, we will be doing the online nutrition course. Uh, if you have a, any particular um, topic or uh, nutrition uh, queries or nutrition uh, knowledge that you would like to know more, you can actually uh, comment down below or just message us and let us know what you would like to learn. And we will try to uh, prepare the, the, um, the course for you. Okay. So normally in the nutrition fields, um, there are a, a few, a few parts. Okay, one is the basic foundation nutrition where we learn about all about the vitamin A to Z, uh, and of course minerals and all that. All these are all what we call the basic or foundation. So we do provide basic nutrition course, uh, on 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 the foundation. Um, if you would like to know when uh, when is the class, you can actually uh, comment down below or you can just uh, message us privately. Okay. Um, second part of the nutrition uh, learning is actually uh, you learn by age. I mean uh, the nutrition by age. Okay, like uh, what nutrition is required for babies, for children, for adults. Uh, and for people uh, who are old, yeah. So at each stage of our uh, development of age, uh, we need different types of uh, nutrition, okay. And the third type of uh, nutrition is on uh, diseases, okay. What diet uh, can diet or nutrition can help with uh, 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 diseases, and uh, the fourth. Uh, part of nutrition learning is what I love best, which is the uh, what we call the therapeutic effect of nutrition, or what we call the clinical nutrition, where we use nutrition as a therapy to manage certain uh, health conditions or diseases. Okay, so nu nutrition topics are very um, interesting. And it's an evolving science, so you can learn a lot of new things uh, every single day. They are, they, uh, the scientists actually publish uh, new knowledge and new things for us to learn every single day. So it's an evolving science. Okay, uh, what you know today may not be um, uh, correct. Maybe ten years down the road, when scientists have discovered new things about human new things about food, new things about nutrition, okay? So if you would like to join us to learn more, uh, let us know. Yeah, we will have some advanced class for you also, okay? So um, today's topic is on coenzyme Q10, your fountain of youth. So uh, how many people know what is coenzyme Q10? Maybe some of you know. Some of you may not know what it is, okay? Because it's, it's a seldom known uh, substance in our body. We know about calcium, we know about vitamin A, B, C, and all that, but uh, coenzyme Q10 is somewhat um, not so famous, okay? But it's very, very important. How about fountain of youth? Fountain, we know what, right? And how about youth? Don't we all want youth, okay? Uh, I'm sure all of us want to remain youthful and uh, don't age. That's the best, right? Yeah. So when it comes to youth, what do you think about? Okay. What what do you what do you think of? Okay. So for me, I think of children. Okay. Uh, they have all the sign of uh, the youthfulness. Okay. They have they have high energy. And when they are tired, they just need to get a, a, a fast nap, a quick charge, and they are up again, right? So, and they are vibrant. They have very good stamina. They can play and play and play and non-stop. And of course, they have ac active brain. They will keep asking you questions, right? Challenging you and all that. And of course, they have good muscle tones and they are very stretchable. Yeah, they can perform um, a, a lot of uh, very difficult, um, you know, acrobats and all that. Yeah, and they have great flexibility. 
And of course, they have skin clarity. You know, the skin is beautiful, no freckles, no spots, and all that. Yeah, so I think um, this is the kind of youth, um, the image of youth and youthfulness that all of us would like to experience, right? As long as we can, as much as we can, right? If you agree with me, can you just write on the comment below? Let me see how many people agree with me or maybe some of you don't want to be youthful again, right? So, as you can see from the picture, right? Uh, this Ernestine Shepherd, um, what, what do you see? Do you see youth? What I see is youthfulness, okay? It's, it's easy to, 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 to have youth when you are young, when you are below 25, right? After that, we actually are on the train of aging, okay? Yeah, so as you can see from the slide also, uh, this Madam Ernestine Shepherd, uh, she started to uh, do weight lift when she was about 60 years old. Right? She was she was just a, a auntie and she started to weight lift, um, do workout and all that at uh, weight at, at around age sixty. Okay. By seventy four, she joined the um, uh, bodybuilding uh, co competition and she won. Right? She won at uh, at, the, at the bodybuilding competition, and as you can see, she is now eighty two, but do you, do does she look like eighty two? She's not right. You look at her body. You look at you look at her smile. You look at how she move and all that. There are um, quite a few uh, video on her in YouTube. I would suggest that you go and uh, watch. And she is a personal trainer, right? And she inspired so many people to start to keep fit and be healthy, right? So this is what I think is more practical for us, people who are above 25, you know. Um, can, can, can we, you know, like retain this kind of youthfulness? I'm sure if you look at uh, Miss Shepherd, uh, it is possible. It, it is possible, okay, to retain uh, youthfulness even though we are aging, okay. All right. Let's talk about the coenzyme Q10. Uh, what is coenzyme Q10? Okay, so coenzyme Q10 is a naturally occurring chemical that exists in almost every cell in human body. Okay, right? So if you look at the far right, uh, far left, left, right, uh, that round ball, colorful ball, is actually our body cells. So inside our body cells, there are a few what we call mitochondria. Mitochondria is like battery, right? They are generating uh, energy or power to power up the cells, right? So mitochondria is like a powerhouse, like a battery cells in our uh, body cells to provide energy to the cells so that the cells can do their work, right? So if we zoom into the mitochondria, it looks like this, okay? It looks like this, okay? Does it look like a battery? A little bit, right? Yeah. So inside this battery or this mitochondria, there are little, little dots of coenzyme Q10, okay? So this coenzyme Q10 actually help the body cells to convert carbohydrates and fats into energy. This is its main functions in the uh, body cells, is to convert fat and carbohydrate into energy so that it, the energy can be used by the cells and the cells can go and do their work for various tissues and organs and hence your whole body. So this is how important coenzyme Q10 is. So it is not just a name for supplements, but it is actually a, a substance or natural occurring chemicals inside all our body cells, okay? 
So in all animals, including humans, uh, we can synthesize uh, ubiquinones. Ubiquinones is a name for coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 is a short form for ubiquinones, okay? So coenzyme Q10, because we can, human can synthesize. Can synthesize means that we can take a few ingredients and we can create new substance. This is what we call synthesize. So our body can produce uh, coenzyme Q10. So that's why it is not considered a vitamin. Okay, it's not considered a vitamin because it's not vital, right? Okay. All right. Okay, so a human body, uh, a human being cannot live without uh, Q10. Okay, a total absence of Q10 would mean that the, the cellular metabolism stops and that can result in instant death. So this is how important coenzyme Q10 is to the human body. Okay, so even a partial reduction in uh, the rate of Q10, right? If your body cannot produce enough Q10 uh, for the use of the body, it may lead to significant loss of energy. I think this is what occurred to many people as we age. We cannot produce enough Q10 for our own body. That's why we feel very tired. And you feel like, how come I sleep so much but I still feel tired? Okay, this is one of the reasons why. Okay, so there are many documented uh, cases of fatigue, uh, meaning that very tired or muscle pain for people who are taking cholesterol drug. Okay, uh, if you are taking cholesterol drug and you constantly feel tired and all that, it could be due to the uh, side effect of the cholesterol drug because cholesterol drug is the known side effect is that it will reduce coenzyme Q10 production in your body, especially the heart. So you will feel tired. Yeah, so I will have, I, I do have some uh, remedies that I want to share with you at the later slides on these issues, okay? So hang on. Okay, so some reduction in uh, our blood concentration of CoQ10 uh, during uh, the studies, right? shows that um, uh, those people with diabetes, those people with cancer and some congestive heart failure, right? Uh, in those people with this kind of disease, um, the concentration of Q10 in their blood is very, very low. So that would, uh, so the researchers actually link it up and they, 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 they um, hypothesize that uh, perhaps these people, the reason why these people have this disease of diabetes, cancer, and congestive heart failure partly is due to lack of coenzyme Q10 in their body. Okay, yeah. So the primary uh, dietary source of Q10, how do you get Q10 in your diet? Is through oily fish. Okay, oily fish like what? Salmon, tuna, cod, mackerel. So these are oily fish. They have, um, they give you Q10. Okay, uh, and organ meats like uh, liver, uh, heart, a big heart, a beef heart, you know, uh, and some whole grains. So imagine if you are a vegetarian and you do not eat any organ, I mean animal meat, and you don't eat whole grain. Therefore, you are not getting any CoQ10 from your diet. And if let's say you, you don't eat balanced diet, your body is not going to be able to synthesize uh, the Q10 for you, okay? So you will experience more aging and the more negative effect of being a vegetarian than enjoy the benefits of being a vegetarian, okay? So for example, vitamin B5 is actually the precursor of coenzyme, okay? Uh, and then vitamin A, uh, vitamin B6 as well. So vitamin B is very important for energy production for the body because they are the precursor, meaning that you need vitamin B5 and B6 in order to make uh, coenzyme Q10. Okay, 
So, um, and there's another substance that's very important in protein that is uh, tyrosine amino acid. Okay, so if you are drinking Nutrilite plant protein, you are getting that also. So it needs these three main ingredients to make coenzyme Q10 in your body. Okay, so make sure uh, to get enough of that. Right? So the main functions of Q10 in our body are, first of all, energy production. As I mentioned again and again, it is so important, right? Yeah, and then the second function is antioxidant function. Okay, antioxidant function means that, you know, things get rusty or like you see plastic get broken down after a while. You see your clothes color, the color of your clothes get faded after a while and um, uh, steels get rusted after a while. These are what we call antiox uh, what we call the oxidation. Like after you cut an apple, the apple flesh become yellowish and dark. That's oxidation. It's the same for our body. Our body will get oxidized as well. And when it get oxidized, um, the, the cells doesn't work normally. All right. So the antioxidant functions of Q10 actually helps to prevent that or slow down that or re reduce damage due to oxidation. Okay, too much of oxidation actually causes the cells to go haywire and they become cancerous. Okay, so um, so and uh, coenzyme Q10 is a fat soluble uh, nutrient. So uh, it is a fat soluble antioxidant that protects the cell membranes and lipoproteins from oxidation. Okay, and the third fun function of coenzyme Q10 is nutrient interaction. Okay. It um, helps to regenerate vitamin E and C in our body. Um, vitamin E is vital for cell membrane because it's an antioxidant to protect the cells. But during the protection, right, vitamin E will be sacrificed, right, to protect the cell membranes. Yeah. So what coenzyme Q10 does is it recycles the vitamin E. It somehow rescues the vitamin E so that the vitamin E don't get sacrificed during the pro during the, the protection of the cell membrane. It revives the vitamin E. So when you have enough uh, coenzyme Q10 in your body or you take coenzyme Q10 as a supplement, it helps you to recycle more vitamin E for your body. You don't need so much of uh, vitamin E in our body because it gets recycled and regenerate. Vitamin E and C. Okay, so it multiplies the effects of the vitamin E and C as well. Yeah, so it is so important, right? The Q10. Okay, so um, how much Q10 is in our body? How much Q10 is in our body? Right? Uh, I would uh, not say how much Q10. Is, uh, most of the Q10 concentration is actually inside the muscles, muscle cells, especially our heart. Okay? Our heart is, is contained of muscles that have to beat all the time. Right? It has to beat all the time. Uh, cannot stop, right? Once it stops, we are finished, right? So, yeah. So, it contains uh, mo most of the Q10 uh, are concentrated in the heart. But, as you can see from the chart, as you can see from the chart, um, at 20 years old, uh, the coenzyme distribution in our body is at its peak, 100%. Okay? So, as we age, for example, when we are 40 years old, uh, the heart... The, the coenzyme Q10 in the heart uh, dropped by about uh, 50%. Okay, the kidney function also dropped and lung dropped a bit uh, and the liver as well. Okay, and as we get older, down to 80 years old, the lung deterioration and heart deterioration are the worst. That's why we see many old people um, they tend to have a lot of coughing 
and they tend to have a pneumonia yeah and uh, the heart is not properly function as well because of lacking of coenzyme Q10 in the the heart and the lung it, it actually drops the fastest okay in these two uh, organ okay whereas liver is quite uh, quite uh, level because liver cells are uh, actually can regenerate itself okay our heart cells cannot or lung cells cannot so um, yeah so this is what happened yeah so if we want to keep up our stamina if we want to have good lung good heart we have to think of a way to prevent our coenzyme Q10 from dropping from deteriorating as we age okay otherwise we become weaker and weaker okay all right okay now i'd like to talk about the disease prevention uh, with coenzyme q10 what kind of disease what what are the the human disease that uh, we can prevent or get well by using coenzyme Q10 okay so the first thing is uh, of course this is not human disease uh. aging is just part of life it's not it's, it's not a disease but coenzyme Q10 can help with uh, aging uh, anti-aging you can age but your body don't need to age with you right yeah so one of the hallmarks of aging is actually decline in energy metabolism in our tissues especially our liver heart and skeletal muscles so coenzyme q10 actually helps uh, to revive that right yeah secondly is uh, atherosclerosis atherosclerosis meaning the blockage of the arteries blockage of arteries in the heart and actually many part of our body as well so coenzyme Q10 can prevent oxidation of LDL cholesterol, which is the, uh, the, the bad cholesterol in our body. Lah, right? The bad cholesterol in our body, once get oxidized, it can stick to the arterial walls of the blood vessels, causing it to block uh, blood flow. So people get heart attack or chest pain because of that. So the coenzyme Q10 can help prevent the oxidation okay so this is this is uh, how coenzyme q10 can help with arteriosclerosis so if you if you have people who you know go for scans and all that they have blockages uh, in their heart uh, blood vessels in the heart coenzyme q10 can help yeah it is very effective actually uh, in in this uh, arteriosclerosis okay and the third uh, disease prevention is actually congestive heart failure okay so any problem with the heart, heart any any problem with your heart actually coenzyme q10 can help okay uh, by taking coenzyme q10 it can uh, really uh, relieve some of the issues i wouldn't say it will cure but it will relieve or at least uh, uh, don't make it worse okay the, uh, I mean it will prevent the disease from getting worse okay so congestive heart failure is the impairment of the heart's ability to pump enough blood for all the body's need meaning that it cannot pump so much already okay so there was uh, many research done actually but this one is a larger research of 2,000 people with heart failure they are already heart failure right and uh, by taking coenzyme Q10 uh, the amount, the dose is about 30 mg to 300 mg. So if you are taking neutralized coenzyme Q10, that's uh, 30 mg is one tablet. Okay, so 300 mg is 10 tablets uh, a day, resulted in a 39% reduction in mortality, meaning 39% uh, less death. Okay, uh, and they improve exercise capacity as well, meaning you have better stamina, better heart and lung functions. Okay, so these are some of the uh, research findings, which is very um, reliable uh, research findings. Okay, and uh, chest pain. Okay, 
So people with chest pain often experience symptoms when the demand for oxygen exceeds the capacity of the coronary circulation, okay, and that, that deliver to the heart muscles. So for example, you during exercise, uh, you may feel chest pain, or people when they get too excited, they get chest pain, when they get too sad or too angry, then they got, and then they collapse, okay, yeah. So in this, in, 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 for people with these issues, right, um, coenzyme Q10 improve exercise tolerance and reduce chest pain as well. Okay, so it, it, it is, it's, a, it's actually an, an, uh, the best supplements for heart issues, okay, heart problems. Okay, all right, so hypertension. Okay, uh, this is a, the, also a very useful one for many people with hypertension. Of course, uh, at coenzyme Q10 in the treatment of hypertension, a meta-analysis of uh, clinical trials. Okay, when you see meta-analysis, meaning that they are not creating a new research, but they take a few research done before and they do comparison and they come up with their, a new conclusion. Okay, so meta-analysis is actually a very good research study. Okay, so it, uh, the, the study result shows that uh, Q10 has a potential in hypertensive patients to lower the systolic blood pressure by up to 17 mm uh, per hour and diastolic blood pressure by up to 10 mm per hour without significant side effects. Okay, so it helps with hypertension uh, as well, coenzyme Q10. Okay. Okay. So number six is diabetes. Okay. So um, they, they have done research and it shows that people with diabetes has less coenzyme Q10 concentration in their blood. Okay. And uh, and also recent study shows that um, insulin resistant. Uh, is tied to a decrease in coenzyme Q10. So these are actually tied to aging as well. Some people, they are quite healthy uh, when they were young, but as they grow older to 50, 60 years old, they start to have insulin resistance, although they have been eating healthily. So this could be due to the drop in coenzyme Q10 in their body. Uh, and then that's why they start to develop insulin resistance and subsequently, if let's say they don't control the diet, and it will quickly go into diabetes, okay? And uh, supplementation with coenzyme Q10 could restore the insulin sensitivity, right? And number seven is Parkinson's disease, you know? Uh, Parkinson's disease is a degenerative neurological disorder characterized by tremors, muscular rigidity, and slow movements. It's, it's all about the uh, muscles, okay? So they found that they, 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 they did some um, post-mortem on those people with Parkinson's and they found that these people have very low coenzyme Q10 in their body. So they, they suspect that, uh, especially those uh, in, the, in the brain uh, uh, has very low coenzyme Q10. So they suspect that uh, the low rate of uh, the low concentration of coenzyme Q10 has some something to do with Parkinson's disease all right so um, they did one uh, a few uh, study and they find that if they give a Parkinson's disease patients a very high dose of uh, uh, CoQ10 which is at 1200 mg per day it can slow the deterioration of uh, Parkinson disease, 1,200 meaning you are taking 40 tablets a day. If you are taking, if you are taking Nutrilite uh, coenzyme Q10, yeah, but it helps. Okay, so dosage is very important. If you are, if you want any nutrition therapy, dosage is very important. Okay, right. So um. Number eight is cancer. 
okay cancer prevention okay so in this um, study I, I have written down the um, the link I suggest that you go and read about it because I think it's very important especially for breast cancer right so um, they they tried they did some trial uh, using coenzyme Q10 for those people with breast cancer um, and it shows some partial and some complete regression of breast cancer right so um, out of this uh, study 32 patients with high risk breast cancer are treated with 90 mg of coenzyme Q10 okay and of these 32 patients six of them the that shows partial tumor regression okay by just taking 90 mg meaning about three tablets a day it shows that the tumor uh, partially uh, getting smaller okay and out of the 32 six of them uh, sorry and then when they increase the dose to 390 mg which is 13 tablets right uh, in one month the tumor was not long no longer palpable meaning that is if you touch it is no longer there the tumor is no longer there okay if you increase the dose to 390 mg right so this is very significant if you are if you have don't have any of these issues but if you are a woman like like me at this age 40 plus and we want to prevent breast cancer just by taking two tablets a day um, I think it, it, it provides us with some protection and prevention right on top of that your skin gets younger as well and you are more energetic every day as well so I always say that coenzyme Q10 is my battery is the one battery that I, I take I eat every day that sustain me throughout the day and uh, with high energy high brain activity and and it's good for my skin right so so coenzyme Q10 is very very important for anyone who wants an active life good stamina good brain look young and prevent diseases okay yeah and number nine erectile dysfunction so erectile dysfunction has to do with uh, blood vessel blockage because it's it's all about blood flow right so if you have some blood uh, blood vessel blockage some part of your body it will cause erectile dysfunction as well so anything that helps with blood flow helps with erectile dysfunction including coenzyme Q10 and of course coenzyme Q10 uh, helps with muscles as well right so all of these help with erectile dysfunction and beyond that coenzyme Q10 for its antioxidant functions help with fertility okay so um, supplementing with 200 to 300 mg per day of coenzyme Q10 has been shown to improve sperm concentration density and motility in men with infertility motility means that the sperm is very active can swim okay uh, not lethargic okay similarly the supplements can improve female fertility by stimulating ovarian response and helps slow ovarian aging you know women we our eggs are all as old as we are our age when we are born we are born with a fixed number of eggs and it gets older with us so uh, the antioxidants from coenzyme Q10 actually helps to preserve the freshness of the egg okay so if you are maybe 30 plus years old and you plan to have babies but maybe you can't you, you you don't have you don't want to have it now have them now you need to preserve that you need to preserve your egg you need to make sure that your ovary is still young by taking coenzyme q10 it keeps it fresh keeps it young okay same for guys okay and of course migraine it helps with migraine as well so nowadays if you go and see doctors and a good specialist uh, 
they will normally, uh, besides giving you some pain medication, they will also give you high dose of uh, coenzyme Q10, like 200 mg. Okay, so a three-month study in four, 45 women demonstrated that those treated with 400 mg of coenzyme Q10 per day experienced significant reduction in the frequency, severity, and duration of migraine compared to placebo group. Okay, so if you feel like your migraine is coming, take coenzyme Q10. Yeah, it helps, um, it helps to reduce a migraine. Okay, so this, this, is, this is great. This is really great, right? And 11, skin aging. Okay, skin aging. CoQ10, co, co turn on genes that make key proteins for skin structure. And it turn off genes that make collagenase. Collagenase is the substance that break down collagen. We don't want collagen to break down, right? We want more collagen, right? So coenzyme Q10 actually can turn on, turn off. Turn on the uh, collagen, turn off the breaking down of collagen. All right. So the, this protect the collagen you have and allow your skin to produce more collagen. That's why nowadays there are so many skincare products that uh, added with coenzyme Q10. But is it helpful if you apply on your skin? I think it may not be that helpful because um, how it needs to penetrate the skin first, right? But if you take it inside, uh, it comes from yourself, comes from your own body production and retention of the, and making the collagen for yourself. I think that is more uh, efficient in a way. Okay, you can try that, okay? Um, I've been taking coenzyme Q10, I think, for about 12 years, uh, th 13, 14 years already. Yeah, it, it is my must-have every day, okay? And, and it's one of the most expensive uh, supplements in the market, uh, especially for Nutrilite as well. It's the most expensive, but I think this is the most important one that I take. Um, I think many of you know that I used to have rheumatoid arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis can, could be, it is due to immune, uh, immune function go haywire and it could be due to um, a lot of uh, oxidations and free radicals and all that. So by, I was taking a quite a high dose of antioxidants during the six months that I, I, I treat myself. Yeah, so I always feel that it was the Q10 that really help me recover from my rheumatoid arthritis, okay? So, um, so now I want to talk about a cholesterol medication. Many people take cholesterol medication on a daily basis for long term, right? And without knowing the side effect. And the doctors sometimes don't tell you the side effect as well because they think that this is manageable. Uh, but I don't think so. Any drug with side effects, we should not be taking it for long term on a daily basis. Okay, so for cholesterol drug, right, um, uh, they decrease the coenzyme Q10 level in the, pa in the blood of patients. So when your co coenzyme lower, you feel tired, you have more muscle pain. Okay, so um, as you can see from the chart here, yeah, by taking uh, the... Uh, statin right yeah in just 30 days your coenzyme will drop from 126 to 0 0.62 1.26 to 0 0.62 that's 50 percent reduction can you imagine that yeah so there are a lot of lawsuit uh, on statin use uh, nowadays because they also causes diabetes uh, it could be due to lack of uh, coenzyme Q10 also then it, it linked to diabetes. So there, there, there are many lawsuits um, there. Yeah, so if you are taking cholesterol drug, my advice is talk to us to see how you can don't take cholesterol drug. Okay, we have our own method, our diet method and nutrition method to help you don't take cholesterol drug. Okay, and if you have to take, for example, your cholesterol is really, really high and you really have to take and you are not able to follow our diet, 
suggestions. My advice is take together with coenzyme Q10. At least you replenish whatever the drug uh, reduce so that you don't end up with heart failure or fatigue or muscle pain. Okay? Right. So some food source for coenzyme Q10. Just now I, I show you that uh, it's from, uh, um, you know, oily fish, uh, organ meat. So we want to know how much of it is required, how much to eat so that you can get enough, right? So, uh, right. So if you can see from the chart, beef, three ounces of beef is about palm size, uh, okay? Will only give you 2.6 mg. So imagine if you want to take 30 mg, how much beef you need to take? It's a lot of beef. Right? A lot of beef. Yeah, for example, um, if you want uh, soybean oil also have some coenzyme Q10, right? Uh, one tablespoon give you 1.3. So if you want to achieve 30 milligram, you need to take 30 tablespoon. Uh, you have to drink oil. Lah. Yeah, so correct, correct. So yeah, okay. So some vegetables also have, but very minimal, very little uh, to be significant, okay? Yeah, so we can actually get from uh, normal food also, but it's very little. And of course, our body can make from the B5, B6 and the tyrosine. But are you getting enough B5, B6 for your body? That's the question, right? Yeah. All right. So another way is to supplement. Okay, I think uh, Q10 is one of the most efficient supplements, uh, uh, efficient uh, substance that your body needs that you can supplement. Okay, yeah. Um, so Neutralite Coenzyme Q10 contain 30 mg of Coenzyme Q10. Some people say why, why Neutralite so so low? You know the the dosage is so low. Uh, although it is just 30 mg, but the absorption rate is higher because it also contains 100 mg of L-carnitine fumarate. Uh, what is L-carnitine fumarate? I will show you in the next slide. Okay, It has to do with, it is almost like coenzyme Q10 because it helps with energy production, it helps with muscles as well. Okay, And it's, uh, uh, the L-carnitine fumarate actually is found in uh, muscles and organ meats as well. So you can see in nature, right? In in nature, uh, there is no standalone nutrition or uh, nutrient. They all comes in a package. They all comes in a package. For example, when you eat an apple, there is so much more than vitamin C in the apple, right? There are minerals inside. There are potassium. There are vitamin A, there are vitamin C, vitamin E inside the apple. So it's the same thing, we cannot, when we take nutrition, we cannot just take one single standalone nutrition. It doesn't uh, work that well in our body. Okay, that is why for Nutrilites, all Nutrilites nutrition, right, you will see that it has all the combination. It is never standalone. For example, all bio C, Bio C has what? Acelora cherry, yes. It has uh, some citrus peel, yeah. So and bioflavonoids, and they add it, add them up together, right? So it is always a combination. So for coenzyme Q10 as well. Besides the uh, L-carnitine, it also contains taurine. Okay, taurine is a essential amino acid, essential amino acid, and it helps with um. Uh, muscles as well and energy production. You still you can see if you are eating a, if you want to get Q10, you eat a, a, a cow's heart or a, a pig heart. So inside a pig heart, besides Q10, we'll also have carnitine, we'll also have taurine as well. Right? So when you take Nutrilite uh, uh, coenzyme Q10, it's like you're taking a whole food, a whole food and a real food with all the combination that it requires to work for you, okay? And it's fortified with 25 mg of citrus bioflavonoids. This is extra antioxidants, okay? 
uh, to, to, to help with the uh, antioxidant effects and to give you collagen as well, all right? Okay, so what is this L-carnitine? Okay, so L-carnitine is an amino acid that is produced in the body. Our body can produce it, yeah? And it helps the body turn fat into energy, okay? So it, it, it's, it's quite similar to coenzyme Q10, but it is not coenzyme Q10, okay? And L-carnitine can be taken for conditions of the heart and blood vessels, overactive thyroid, inability to become pregnant within a year of trying to conceive uh, what we call infertility, serious kidney disease, and many other conditions. So how does it work? So L-carnitine helps the body produce energy. So it is important for heart and brain functions, muscle movement, and many other body processes. So it sounds like uh, coenzyme Q10, but they work as a team. Okay? They work as a team, so it enhances the effect of the coenzyme Q10. Right? Okay. So the third ingredient is uh, amino acid taurine. Okay, so taurine is the one of the most abundant amino acid in your muscle tissues. So when you think of muscle tissue, you don't only think of your leg, your hand muscles. Okay, your heart is full of muscles. Your intestine requires muscles in order to push down the poo poo. Okay, in order to have a bowel movement, you need very strong muscles. Okay, so these these are very important. Uh, muscle tissues in our body that we always ignore so when you have this uh, uh, enough taurine right it helps with our muscle tissues okay and brain and many other organs in the body so a lack of taurine in the body may lead to a range of health complications for example kidney dysfunction developmental disorders damage to eye tissues cardiomyopathy okay which is uh, heart failure right so taurine is also very important. So these three combined together gives you the best of coenzyme Q10. Okay, so this is Nutrilite's coenzyme Q10 that you can take. Right. Okay, so as a summary, right, coenzyme Q10 as a supplement helps, uh, helps uh, your mitochondria. Okay, helps your mitochondria to power up and provide and converting carbs and fats into energy to give the energy uh, to, to, to supply the energy to your cells so if your cells can work very well you will have a strong heart strong muscles strong kidney right and strong lung and strong liver so if you have all these major organs strong will you have disease Will you feel very fresh and full of vitality and stamina? Yes, I believe you will. Okay, I should put a strong brain as well. Okay, all the five main organs of the body. Alright, so and of course, uh, it also helps with anti-aging. Okay, and it is one of the best edible skincare that we can take for ourselves. Female or male, it's the same. Alright, and of course, it gives you improve your stamina and vitality okay and as we age this is one of the most important thing that we want to retain stamina and vitality all right okay so um this that was the last slide for my uh sharing on coenzyme q10 i hope you have learned something about coenzyme q10 it is so important um for us as we age so um, next week we will be talking about uh, nutritious breakfast it will be in chinese it will be shared by li Gui. okay she has a lot of testimonials to share on uh, yin yang zao chan okay so now i will look at some of the questions that you may have if you have other questions uh, that i i don't i i don't have time to uh, reply you to uh, during the live I will reply in the comment down below. Okay, thank you. So, um, 
Um, I have some experience in um, helping people um, with infertility issues using the coenzyme Q10. Basically, uh, if you take for three to six months, you will see some good results, right? Yeah, so you can take that as well for infertility. Okay, I can't seem to see the questions, but um, let me Um, do you have any questions for me? Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Okay, um, if you can't, I think there are some issues with Facebook, but that's okay. Um, I'll try to resolve it. Um, if you can't comment, uh, maybe you can PM me the questions. Okay? You can PM me the questions. Okay, so um, let me just try one more time. Okay, can an expectant mother take it? Um, uh, Melina was asking. So, uh, if let's say the expectant mother is uh, at the early stage, like below four months, uh, I would suggest not to take it because uh, uh, it has a blood thinning effect. Okay, uh, Q10 has blood thinning effect. If you want, you can take a very low dose, like once a day is okay, but nothing more than that. Okay. And uh, that is provided the pregnancy is very uh, stable, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I was told that uh, you cannot place the comment. I think that there was some blocking by Facebook itself. So um, I'll try to resolve that. But if you have any questions, uh, please, uh, you can comment later or you can private message me. Okay? Thank you everyone. Um, so I see you next uh, uh, next week. Okay? Next week will be on 营养早餐. Right. Bye bye.